Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, and today we're back with another Microsoft Flight Simulator video, and today we're taking a look at the KA-10 hatch by Touching Cloud. As you can see, this is a very, very unique helicopter. This is a Soviet-era helicopter from the 40s. It has two three-bladed coaxial rotors, so again, very unique. It's also fairly small, very, very tiny. You can get this in the marketplace. It's fairly cheap. We're going to be taking a look at it. We're going to be doing a quick flight. It looks very, very small. It's all almost human sized. Gotta say, I kind of like this, the design. It's very, very uh, minimalistic. This here is the inside. Very, very minimalistic. It's an older helicopter, so here we have the radio. Our collective. Our chair. I want to say seat, but that's more like a, a chair. So it does seem like everything is animated, even the, the rotor. This is really nicely done. Yeah, I like this. We have all the instruments up front. This is the mixture, so we're going to be turning this on. And again, this is available in the marketplace. And if you want to get this, it's very affordable. Um, yeah, we have this map right here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. Again, as you can see, very, very easy to turn this on. Okay, it does look like we're on. Uh, the mixture. You kind of pull this. This is full mixture. Uh, the first time I tried this, I was like, okay, so all the way in, that's full, right? Look, nope. you have to pull this. Okay, far so good. Altimeter, altimeter is set. No cyclic input. Okay, let's stabilize. It is very, very stable, very easy to fly. Okay, let's get rid of this. No uh, anti-torque. We're kind of yawing to the right a little bit. But yeah. Fly model. I have zero clue how realistic this is, but it's really, really easy to fly this. Like, really easy. It's very stable, and letting go of the controls, it's kind of stable. It is a fairly small aircraft, so it's not very fast, but that should be expected. Am I the only one thinking flying in something something like this? Sounds very very fun. <laughs> very very fun. I would not try to assemble one of these at home. Um, a lot of aircrafts have like do-it-yourself home kits. Uh, I, I don't believe this one does. This is a fairly old aircraft, but still. I can picture something similar to this being a home kit. I don't think I would fly something I built. <laughs> and I have read and heard on YouTube videos that uh, those airplane projects that you build yourself, they take a massive amount of time to build. Like, thousands of hours. Thousands and thousands of hours.
Did I? Okay, so we don't, don't have the map here. Let's toggle this on real quick. Um, VFR map. I just want to show the region we're at. And I don't really use the VFR map, so I usually toggle this off. This is where we're at. We're in good old Canada. The outside view here is... Very, very nice. So this is a really nice aircraft for VFR, uh, flying scenic areas, flying on, on cities. This way you can actually see what's around you. The developer did a really, really good job. He is also be behind the kinetic assistant, which is fantastic if you like gliders. Okay, we are getting close. Then we're gonna check the area around for a bit. Okay. Good looking city. Here we have a POI. As you can see, this is quite nice for scenic flying. Flying around cities, checking POIs. Uh, I've gotta say, this place looks quite nice. I like it. What have we here? We should be approaching the Mount Royal Cross. Let's see what we have here. Nice. Okay. That's nice. That's a really nice location. This is a nice POI. I don't believe I can land there. Not because we don't fit, but mostly lack of skill. <laughs> yeah. This is a really, really nice city. Overall, this is a very fun aircraft. Especially for sightseeing, um, you have hard flying. Checking out new cities, new POIs.
fairly easy to fly this. Although I do struggle a little bit hovering. But that's lack of skill. I have to get used to this. There we go. Nice and easy. Slowly descending. As you can see, very, very stable, very easy to fly. Extremely affordable. Which is a big, big plus. I feel like if you like helicopters, you should definitely check this one out. This is the KA-10 hatch. Again, you can get this in the marketplace. Uh, I do believe it's very, very much worth buying. It's very cheap, very affordable. It's quite nice, very unique. I like it. I like it a lot. And again, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye-bye.